So today we're going to have a look at the brand new free-to-play unit for the celebration, which is the orange jacket Goku. Um, he has gotten his awakening and easy A this celebration. So we're going to jump in and showcase him in different scenarios here. But this is his 100% stats. He's got pretty decent defense stat, 12,000. Definitely on, like, if not the highest for a TYZA. I don't really remember who is. Attack, though, is going to be sacrificed, though. But his HP stat is looking pretty good. And I do have them at 17 dodge, 17 additional, and 2 critical right now. And then he's just got level 2 links. I'll get that 10 out um, in no time. So we'll jump in into a Goku's Family Team slash Earthred Fighters and just see how he performs in the Shadow Dragons event. Uh, not too bad to start things off. If you guys don't remember what he did previously, he gets damage reduction when guarding, especially when you have when you have a Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn. What they've done with this EZA is pretty much give him more stats and more healing capabilities. But other than that, um, there's not much else. So we'll see how it does though. Uh, if he can tank one of the harder content pieces later on. Oh, and also we'll see if his damage is looking pretty good as well. Um, he gets 100% attack and defense on Super. Start of turn attack defense 159%. He also has an intro animation, which is pretty cool. Although, unnecessary, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, and the intro animation does give him a 10% HP recovery at the end of the character's attacking turn. And all allies key plus one for four turns. I wish it was like kind of like a better intro buff. Uh, you do need another Warriors Raised on Earth as well in order to proc the entrance animation. Because you are most likely going to have him next to a Goku's family unit, you should have it activated 100% of the time. I don't know where else you wouldn't activate that. Maybe in like a very specific Super Saiyans team or something like that. I wish it was voiced or had its own specific OST because it's just pretty boring. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying as well. Uh, we'll have the Gohan next to it for now. So we have most of the links activated. Start a turn defense is 155,000. There is no guard here, but we'll see what he can do uh, versus type disadvantage for now. And um, yeah, so when he super attacks, he'll be at 300k, not including the SA mechanic, which is a greatly raised attack and defense. So yeah, he's not going to be that first slot unit that we're looking for. Unless you're versing an STR unit. And even then, that's kind of pushing it, depending on what STR unit you are versing. Type disadvantage. Let's see what he can do. 303,000. We're pretty much almost dead there. Hopefully, the Goku Gohan here can tank for double-digit damage for normals. If not, then we are pretty much dead. Or they can kill here. That would be nice as well. Either one, I'll take. They are a bond of parent child support and we die <laughs> and there was not enough support to tank that all right we'll try this again so this time around we have high school Gohan to be in the first slot for us um instead of the agl goku when we do have that str versing or we drop underneath 60 percent hp which allows him to guard all attacks we'll put him in the first slot but for now go on 4.8 million attack stat after easy a and 4.6 million attacks up. So it kind of got like that shared vibe of high school Gohan. But just less reliable. Because if you are versus STI, you don't get the guard. And then the damage reduction is not as high as high school Gohan. But they still do like the support vibe kind of thing as well. With the raising attack and defense. I've stated my opinions on the Goku. I really just don't find him as good as I would have liked him to. Of course... We only just started this showcase, so I might change my mind, but just looking at it, I just hate the HP restriction. It's just too low or too hard to get. Sometimes HP 60%. It is very annoying, for sure. But I think these heals could be actually very, very useful um, because you get the 10% heal if you're underneath 90% HP. You get the 10% HP when super attacking as well from his old um, uh, super attack mechanic. And then you get the 15% um, HP if you're under 30%. So you can heal quite a bit depending on how early of damage you take, which is kind of cool. Is this on the Orange Jacket Goku? No, it's not. It's on Gohan. <laughs> I thought it would have been. 
So we actually have a better linking partner, which is the Gohan here, because they share just a sl one extra link, which would probably make the difference, maybe. <laughs> but hopefully this Goku can actually kill off... Was it Rage? Okay, we are going to be taking a super attack. We do dodge, which is good. That's why I do have the max dodge, because that would have hurt us quite a bit. It does not kill, but we don't have to deal with supers anymore. So we're going to tank this for normal uh, double digit damage. Of course, uh, it does take a normal attack to kill. The best thing about him, I would say, is that you can definitely rely on him as a second, third slot unit. If you are underneath 30% HP, because you get the additional super attack guaranteed, which is a greatly raised attack um, thing. And then also, look at that defense. Look at that. 200,000? God damn. He actually can grow quite a bit, actually. Um, and then also, you got the guaranteed guard and the guaranteed damage reduction, of course, which should help you really tank majority of things in Dokkan Battle. With a few exceptions, I would say. Like ones that like lower your defense, but depending on your health amount, of course. Should actually be very, very good. It's just that it is so hard to consistently do that. <laughs> that it, it can be um, quite a nuisance. And I think he does definitely need the additional super attack in order to tank everything in the game. But we did do a double super there, which is kind of cool. I don't think Oceanus is going to super us, unfortunately. And uh, the Gohan attack damage that we just took, we healed it back up with the double super. So 10% HP is no joke. It does definitely... It can add quite a bit. Of course, we also get the dodge. Damn, we are just dodging everything. Insane. Actually, I think we can get the dark mode as well, maybe. Let's try. If I just grab this red, it should build up the bar quite nicely. And we'll most likely get it with Goku. He's not versing STR though, so not the most amount of damage. And we're just still stuck on full health. Oh, it makes it, our life a little bit easier. We'll just chuck him first here. Hopefully Gohan doesn't get us killed. Either Gohans, I mean. Get the dodge. 17 dodge in a dream. I would actually don't put more dodges onto him. I know I do have 17 additionals, but I kind of want more dodges. Uh, just because he will then be more reliable when he's not, when we're not below 60% HP. I think, though, they should have just if given him 50% damage reduction. 30% is still pretty low, for sure. Even if he had guard, 30% is, is still going to hurt you, depending on the boss. Good dodging, double digits, good dodging. All right, we're still alive, at least. Dude, our units just dodge everything. Insane. All right, now we are versing Nova, which is STR, which is great. Uh, we can actually put the Goku in the first slot. He is guaranteed to guard, which means he's got the guaranteed... No um, Which means he's got the guaranteed damage reduction. At least we can do that much for this Goku in this run right here. It's going to take 2,000 on a normal. He's about 200,000 defense right now. Then pro post super. 4 million attack stat. Gonna heal up whatever we just took right there. And then the super attack. It should be double digits. If not, yeah. <laughs> I would have questioned his ability to tank for sure. And that is without the additional. He can triple super attack if you're underneath the 30% HP, of course. Which uh, does a lot. 50% per super on attack and defense. All right, and now I want to test him out. How much can he tank against Cell Max, who has a 2.5 million plus damage super attack here? We'll see if we can get him a super attack uh, first and then tank, and also vice versa. All right, usually Cell Max just super attacks in the first slot. So we'll proc him here. We got all in the family, which is a defensive link that we just need. He's got 200,000 defense. Nothing really has changed. Gohan will provide some extra support at the end. And let's see if he will take the super here. Uh, so he will have the guard. He will have the 30% damage reduction. And then the over 500k defense on this team. 
All right, well, we are not going to do the super attack, I guess, so. Let's do it. Let's try again, I guess. But, I mean, he did tank double digits, which Goku was not able to. So, that's a good start. And Goku had the guard as well. All right, attempt number two here. Let's see if it works out. All right, there's a few attacks. Hopefully, we see the super attack in the first slot here. Would not want it to be any other spot. There it is. So, frame one super. Can he tank this for the amount of health we have? No. <laughs> so, definitely not going to help you, I guess, on a free-to-play team, tank that. So let's see if he can tank post super. He should be. I mean, he gets so much defense post super. But how much damage will he take? Is it going to be enough where even the Beast Gohan 5 mil super would be fine or not? Let's find out here. Double digits? Actually, hold on. Why? I thought he was doing double digits in the first slot. Maybe I was tripping. <laughs> 488, which is still going to kill us. He would definitely need to double super in order to tank cell max. If he was to do at least, you know, three attacks and a super attack combined as well, which is uh, not perfect. But again, it is, a be it is the best solution for a free-to-play team in order to naturally tank Cell Max at the start of the battle compared to any other um, free-to-play unit. So let's jump into his details here. It's Goku's family leader for 3 key and 77% stat boost, as well as AGL types for 3 key and 50%. Greatly raises attack defense for one turn. Recovers 10% HP. He's got the entrance animation, which recovers 10% HP at the character's attacking turn at the end of it. All allies keep plus one for four turns from the character's entry turn when there's another warriors raised on Earth category ally on the team upon the character's entry. Attack defense 159% with an additional 100% attack defense when performing a super. 10% HP recovered if HP is 90% or less. Guards all attacks if HP is 60% or less. Recovers an additional 15% HP and launches an additional super attack if HP is 30% or less at the start of the turn. Bond of Parent and Child support for 2 key and 30% attack and defense. With an additional damage reduction 30% when guard is activated and an additional attack plus 59% when performing a super attack if there is another Goku's family category ally attack in the same turn. I don't know what the attack would look like without this, but it would probably be very mediocre. And then here are the links and categories. Good thing about being Goku, he's got every category under the sun. And yeah, so... This is his stats without the skill orbs that I already put on. And if we look at his depth, and then if we look at his defense calculations here, we can see what he could potentially get up to. So under HP 30%, so a very rare circumstance, he can get to 1 million defense with the 40% support. And that is only if he triple super attacks. He will obviously get the double super attack guaranteed under 30% HP. And then you have to rely on, depending on how much additionals you did give him um, for that third super, which does give him quite a bit, almost 1.2 million defense, which is kind of nutty, especially if you're versing STR. You got the guard, and then you got the 30% damage reduction. It's definitely on the very, very tanky side of free to play for sure. So yeah, he is very, very good against some of the hardest events in the token because they are STR, like Cell Max, uh, the Beast Gohan. The problem is usability outside of it. It's not like I am able to beat the Beast Gohan event just because he's now easy 8 unfortunately. It is a step closer. I just wish he was usable outside of some of the other events that could have been easily been beaten if he had like a easier guard chance or a higher damage reduction per se. But yeah, that's the showcase on the Gohan. Very impressive. When you're versing that str i just personally would have liked a little bit more a little bit more from dokkan but if you guys did enjoy today's video don't forget to leave a like comment down below your thoughts on this goku and subscribe to the channel thank you to my members on screen for supporting the channel if you'd like to become a member first link in the description or click on the join button with that said i'll see you guys in the next video stay healthy stay safe stay busy peace